Hello! It's your right. It's good. It's good. Hey everyone, uh, I have returned uh, again for another. I always do this for a start. It's weird. I've got a nervous tick while in my hands. It's very strange. Uh, I'm back again. Uh, another week, another stream, another game, another platform. I think it's another platform anyway. This is Amarote. 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 Yeah, we'll go with that. Amarote or Amarote. On the ZX Spectrum 128K. So I've done a Spectrum game before. I did halls of things a long time ago. Uh, it wasn't the greatest game to actually stream, <laughs> to on reflection. But I did. And I thought, well, let's let's just up this up a bit, you know. Um, and I thought, well, it's... So I'm just doing some sharing of things. There we go. Let's just up this up a bit, you know. Let's just push this up a bit up and push the boat out. And um, this is um, a really, really celebrated game on the 128K. It was designed uh, by John Pickford and uh, the graphics done by Steve Pickford. And the music, which you can hear, it's like a looping music, intro music, uh, is done by David Whittaker. Um, quite celebrated, so you can hear the music. Most spectrums, or in fact, the 48K spectrum, could not do this. You can actually see the title screen coming up. Now, 128K music by David Whittaker. So, celebrated musician on the uh, AY chip, um, uh, primarily. And, uh, yeah, just doing his stuff. So, uh, I've spent a lot of time on this game. I'm terrible at it. I'm terrible at most games. There's regular sort of uh, come to this show to watch me play games. I'm not very good at them, uh, but I still try. I still try. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it off. Um, this game is a little bit complicated and a little bit very, very, very frustrating, very tough, and very, very odd. It's controlled on the spectrum by a keyboard, so much so that I've actually printed out um, the instructions for the keys. Because back back in the day, back in the day, I didn't read instructions really. You know, you just played the game, and if you couldn't figure it out, and this is a 199 game, I think. I don't think it's a 299 game. Despite that, it was running on 128, and it came out in 1987. 1987 was a big year for me. It was when I left, personally left, the 8 bits behind and bought an Atari ST and moved on to the 16 bits. Um, so I, I don't remember buying this game at the time. I might have done. I don't remember doing so though. Um, I think I might have had it on the Amstrad before I sold it, so I think so. And I think I didn't quite get on with it. It's a bit peculiar. But now I've got this game. I understand the game, and uh, there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to it. So enough of me wibbling. So in city map, there's various sectors you can walk around and uh, walk around. Go up there. Various different sectors. Now I don't know personally which what's different about them, and I'm thinking that probably, and these are various different sect city sectors um, of um, Amaro, which is the city you're trying to protect from giant insects of all things. Um, so, what you have disposable is to. I'm not going to. I'm going to talk about this now, because if I don't talk about it now then during the game I'm not going to be able to talk about it because I'm too focused on what's going on. So you look on the screen, it's got this weird hexagon sort of like layout. It's beautifully designed, wonderfully put together. And what you have here is you have, uh, reading from the left through to the right, we have damage district. So you have to main maintain the buildings in the, in the, in the, in the, in the city. So you, you don't want to... Um, you, you don't want to blow up bits of the city while you're blowing up bugs. Um, the And then you've got number of bombs. You have a limited number of bombs. You start off with about 24 or so. You can actually get more as the game goes on. But you have to you have to request them. You have a two-way radio with your commanding officer who's telling you to go out there and kill all the bugs. Super bomb. This is a one-time bomb use. Used only to kill the queen. But there's also another use for it. But I'll talk about that later. But primarily, there's a queen bug. You have to kill the queen bug first. 
So otherwise, as you kill more bugs, she makes more of them. So it becomes, yeah, she had to kill her first. Once you killed her first, then, um, and then city damage, the overall city damage. So, you know, you could get 5% city damage. And then, then finally, there's the, your, your personal damage of your ship. Um, so, um, yes. I'm going to now press space. There's a bit of a... Bit of stuff happens when I've hit space. It doesn't just flip on the screen. We get some nice things happening. So check it out. Goes yellow. A bit of multicoloredness. Troll. And there's a face. It's <gasps> a face and he's looking around. He's all very... And th then then this, this, come, this happens. Exciting. Oh, we have someone in chat. Uh, Puchito Flute. It's cool. He's saying it's a bug hunt. You're right. It is a bug hunt. Welcome, welcome to chat. So, visually, this is quite a special game, I think. But it's the audio. It's the audio that really, really shines. Um, so, first thing, I need to uh, call for some bombs. So, I'm going to do that now. I'm going to ask for Super Bomb. And there you go. So now I've got to change over to the bomb. So you see the radar thing in the middle? It's beautiful. Hey, look at look, look at the visuals. So this bug, I think, wants me to. I mean, I need to, I need to kill them anyway. But ah, uh, it's a trick. It's very tricky to control. So now I'm, I'm following the arrows. It's where the bomb is going to be dropped. Uh, that's the queen. You can see her there, just sitting there. Uh, as a, so there's some limits on your controls, and where you, can, you can't just go anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna walk by her. Um, where, where did they drop the bomb? I need to go pick it up somewhere. Oh, it's up there. Let's try and go up there. Okay, walk one way up there. So go along there. It's not. Oh, where is it? Let's go here. No, no, no. So I've been playing this for a while and I've really struggled with the controls because it does... I can't find the bomb. So I can walk anywhere on this, this sort of grey stuff. Um, yeah, it's over here somewhere. But I've got, it's a kind of a race against time but not really. There's no timer, you just gotta, you just got to get it done. So this is where the bomb is. Now I've got the bomb. Now I'm going to change the uh, scanner to the nearest to the queen. Which I knew where it was anyway. She's down here. So what I'll do is I'll kill the queen first. No, no, I can't go down there. That's no good. Oh. That's no good. No, this is no good at all. It's no good at all. You see the uh, it's flashing, it's got multicolored flashing. So this game is kind of immune from color clash, of course, because they just used single tone. But the shading and the visuals are just incredible, uh, in, in, in my view. For Spectrum, uh, it's just chasing after me. So they know they know I've got the 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 bomb. So now they want my. So if I press space, I'll and then I'm using a super bomb, which I don't want to do yet. I need to get to the Queen. I did see her earlier, if you remember. She was lying there, luxuriating. Uh, oh, there she is. This is. There's the bit in the middle, so now I've got to get to there. That's the tricky part. So let's go down here. Uh, keep going along here, hopefully. And. No, I can't really go that way. Okay. So now I'll avoid all the bugs. Oh, come on, lads. I know you know what I've got on me. No. Yeah, they're sort of tracking me. No. Yeah, they're tracking me. Um. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I think the longer I take trying to kill the queen. 
the more she sends out, more workers she sends out to kill me. She makes sense because she knows she's under threat. And now I'm in deep trouble. Go this way. We've got 63 damage now. So. Don't follow me, look. Under strict orders to wipe me out. Okay, hopefully I don't blow up. No, I blow up! No! Disaster. Um, I'll try again. So let's do it again. Uh, I'll, I'll go to the same same district again. And we'll see the, the, the intro bit. It's really quite cool. Um, so... This is the 128K version. So the 48K version, I can't remember how that how that played out. I don't do all of this. I don't think all this animation stuff and all this actually exists in it. I could t check for a moon education, but um, yeah. I, I just think it's really visually it's just amazing. This game it really is. As, as, as designed and developed by uh, the Pickfords, no less. So let's go and call thingies again. Ask for Super Bomb. And then go get it. Uh, there we go. Give me this way. So I'm getting the keys already. Let's look at the keys this time. So there's the Queen again. you just got to be really quick with the bomb, obviously. Because if you take too long... Uh, she sends out drones to kill you, which makes perfect sense. Like that one. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Because the bugs can walk anywhere they like, but you can't. Come on! It's bloody controls. These controls are maddening. They're all on the keyboard, so I can't use any uh, joystick. I tried. I was going to have it. I spent too long getting a bomb. I spent too long. There's the queen. Can't hurt her. It's so frustrating. You can't. So you can only go. So you can only go to walk on certain surfaces. And in some surfaces, you only walk on them if of the certain furrow. So, that, like this one, I can't. And now I'm screwed again. So, there you go. Another frustration is you can only fire. Okay, I've got this. Right, I've got the bomb. Come on, kill the queen, Chris. I've done it before. No, missed. I actually missed. Oh, I need another one. No, they're not letting me have another one. I'm gonna get repair. I think I killed her, but no, she's still there. I didn't kill her at all. Hmm. Let's ask for another one. Oh, she's not dead. <laughs> Something's very odd. Oh well. Costado! 
Thank you for joining us. Um, it says, to all this talk about killing the Queen, I could get in trouble. He's probably right. Uh, I need a new bomb. So I don't think she's dead. Something very strange happened. Am I about to blow up? Yeah, I'll just... Here you go. <laughs> How you liking the colours colour scheme? Do you like yellow? You can change it, you can change it. I change it in a minute. So let's once more with food. Let's do another district. Why not? Let's try that. I haven't played this district before, so I'm not I'm not familiar with it. Man of the eyes, looking round, tense. Weirdly, weirdly cute helicopter. I mean, considering the topic, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit cutesy. It looks like, um, what was that helicopter? For the Children's book. I can't remember. Now. Oh, no, it's, it's Cyan. There you go. So, uh, let's ask for another super bomb, and let's make our way to the where the super bomb is. No, not that one. There you go. Super bomb's gonna be over here. Ah! The hell! No! Me. That wasn't fair. I want to try a different district to that one. Bloody hell. Um, let's try that one. So you can't skip the cutscene. Budgie the helicopter. Thank you. Thank you. Pursuit. Yeah, pursuit to flop. Yes. Budgie the helicopter. It looks like Budgie, Budgie the helicopter. It does. It, yeah. Copyright there. <laughs> Not sure what Steve was going for there, but yeah. Budgie the helicopter. Thank you for that. Green this time. I can change it, look. Uh, let's stick with cyan, why not? So, let's um, get the super bomb again. And go for the pick it up. No, no, no. There you go. Let's see if we can get there as soon as I humanly can. I see the buildings are slightly different for each district. That's nice. It's a nice, nice little touch. Here's the queen. There she is. Largely unguarded for now. Uh -oh. Should go on the road. Stick to the road, Chris. Stick to the road. Oh, here he is. Got the farm. No, I can run faster than it. Good. She be dead. Boom. Boom. I say. Excellent. Excellent work. Now, I've got to find the nearest bugs. Got this got to kill the bugs off. This is basically a game about being an exterminator. It's not quite as as weird as Earth Defense Force, if you don't know those games. They're, they're a bit weird. Uh, okay, so let's try and kill this one. I have tremendous difficulty doing this. I'll, I'll freely admit, I've got that one. That was by accident. <laughs> I 
You know what? I love the little radar thing. That little animation in the middle. It's amazing. Really, really good. Yeah. Do you notice also the uh, the creepy music by David Whittaker? It's really atmospheric. Really good stuff. There's loads of them. That was three, to be precise. So the, the, th the thing about firing bombs is that they only fire in the direction you've last travelled in. Specifically, you have to travel in that direction in order to fire in that direction. If this sounds frustrating, that's because it is! So I can't fire behind me and then shoot. It's just, that would be too easy. Really annoying. So, I get yeah, fire on Gretchen then. So this is where you stand up like blowing up bits of the city. And also, another, another annoying thing is... While that thing is bouncing along, I can't actually, I can't actually fire another another bomb until that's gone. So yeah, that's a thing. Uh, so no, I missed it. You, I'm actually hunting, hunting them down. I am playing this, by the way, on my Spectrum Plus Three. Um, so it's so, so I don't know why I chose my plus three. Could have done my plus two, but I went for my plus three because you know they're kind of a thing. I guess oh, I missed him. Hoping to hit him. I think I blew something up. Did I blow something up. Yeah, look, see the remnants of a building I just blew up. Yay! I am getting better. I am getting better. Hopefully I can clear this ter territory, but it's unlikely. I've never actually cleared a territory. I know. Shocking. Anyway. I understand my stream's a little bit behind um, you, so you see me react to things after <laughs> And you go, oh, look, he's done it. You know, sorry about that. Such is the way of things. Such is technology. Such is streaming. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, there. Oh, no, not good. Not good. He might be tracking me. That'd be good. Boom! I think I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. Anyway, uh, what time is it? 22 past. No! I thought he was going for me. I missed him. I'll try again. He's going to be mooching around here for a bit. Okay, I'll go up now. Should we go after him? Let's go after him. Because they're just mooching around now, randomly, because they've got no queen to order them around. So they're, they're even more erratic in their behaviour. Two, two minutes past, yeah. So regular viewers will know that I reveal the next game for and the next platform uh, for next week, halfway through the show. So only, only at the moment, only stream for an hour. I know it's not very long, but um, that's just you know the nature of the games I'm playing. I don't know. Oh, I almost had him! Almost had him. It's all in the timing. No. I haven't quite got it yet. I'm getting better at it, but... I can't fire until that bomb stops bouncing. It could... It's gone on for ages. Come on! There it goes, it stopped. It didn't blow anything up, though. Yay! Another one bites the dust. So the queen's not making any more bugs. 
and this is a good thing. So this one, this one's in a bit of a tricky situation. I can't actually get to him very easily. Um, so let's. Oh, hang on. Here we go. On a second bounce. Killed him on a second bounce. I think that might be a first. I don't know. No, I did it earlier, didn't I? Only by accident. Costado saying that it's not the most exciting game, is it? For some gamer now, it's plenty long. He's right. For so these older games, these 8 bit games, an hour is more than enough to actually experience all they have to offer. Uh, but this one, this one's. I do. I think visually it's an absolute treat. Missed him. Uh, but there's not much to it. Uh, you know, the. The tricky, the, the depth of the, the control of the, the, the machine, the, your, the, the behaviour of the bugs. Um, they're very different when the Queen's around. She orders them around and they're very, they're very aggressive and they can actually do some serious harm. But once she's dead, it's just a matter of taking them down and they're just a bit dumb. So I missed him again. Um, I think this might be the last one, but there's no timer to this. I've noticed my damage is reasonably high. I mean, the only thing I've got is that the limit is you have currency. You have to spend money to actually do all these repairs on your, your ship. I'm going to quickly get a repair because I don't want to. It's going to cost me money. See the dos in the bottom left hand corner. So this is out on many other platforms, MSX, Atari 8-bit, C64, Amstrad, I think that was the only other platforms, and of course the 48K Spectrum as well. Um, I haven't actually played that version, I suspect it's much, much quieter, and doesn't have all the twitchy graphics going on that we see uh, in the uh, cutscene sequence, which we can't skip, apparently, because back then they didn't really do skipping of cutscenes, uh, at least on the Spectrum anyway. Um, another reason I played it on the Spectrum Plus, I mean, I could have done it on 128 Plus, which I do have, uh, but I'm not keen on those key keyboards. And knowing this is a keyboard control only game, I thought I'll just stick with that. Just don't stick with the Plus 3. Come on. Come on, you little tight. Come on. So I can't reach him, so I can't walk on that. I can't actually go in that direction. It's very frustrating. So this is going to. There might be a way I can get to him, hang on. Because he's, he's being a bit of a, an idiot. Which is fine. No, no he's gone now. Okay. So I can only go one way down those furrows, you see. Those, those, like, field like. Oh, yeah. Those moved a bit. It's all a bit, all a bit random. No. Nah, I have to wait for the bomb to stop bouncing. Uh, we're almost at halfway. I do like the animation. It's really good. Really detailed game. Uh, visually. But I just think it lacks a lot in the design front. There's not much to it, ultimately. But it was only a 199 game, so give it that. It's not up there with Wonderful 101, which I played last week, which is so, so deep. And had lots going on. In fact, as I was playing... Um, Horizon and Zero Dawn uh, earlier before I started playing this today. Uh, talk about chalk and cheese. <laughs> That's a very, very complex game. Oh, deep, deep game, not complex, but deep. And there's two of them. I thought this was the last one to kill. Oh, pain in the bum. And there's some slowdown as well.
Oh, I thought I had him. There's three of them here as well. Oh. So, yes. I'll go after this one up there. Here he is. It's, this is what this game's about. It's just you. What, the last knockings is when you're trying to hunt these bugs down as they wander around aimlessly because they've got no queen now. So they're just. They're largely ineffective at attacking you because they don't know how to. <laughs> so they just wander around aimlessly, which makes killing them very difficult. No. So we're hit the halfway mark now. I'm going to be playing on a platform that's not not very popular. Um, wasn't very didn't kind of was uh, regarded as a bit of a joke when it arrived. I think you can guess what it is. It's got a stupid name as well, uh, and um, but. I thought, well, I'm running out of platforms to play games on anyway, so why not this one? <sighs> I don't know how anyone could play this game. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, it's called, it's the Switchblade on the uh, Amstrad G4000. G4000 I don't care. <laughs> it's the Amstrad con console that everyone finds very funny. Um, honestly. <laughs> this is so tedious! How are you supposed to do this? Without using blind luck? I don't... I have done it a couple of times. Oh, come on! No, it doesn't want me to move. I tried. I really tried. That's gone off. And can't fire again. Oh! So, Costada says the CCC4 version is top down. Oh, these flying ones are easier. No, you meant to just get underneath them. Come on, don't, don't do this to me. Right, oh. I wonder why I did top down on the C64 version, very strange. It's surprising you can play this at all, the game is full of bugs. Costado's done a great job, yes, very good point. The game is full of bugs. Yeah, so Switchblade on the GX4000. That's it, that's a GX4000, the Amstrad GX4000. Won't be next week, because I'm away next week, but the week after. So yeah, do tune in for that. Oh, come on, please. Just, please, just kill something. <sighs> just... You can't tell. Yeah. I don't know. I don't... I can't tell. Is that... Am I underneath it there? I don't know. It's maddening. What a visual splendor this game has. The actual gameplay is questionable. <laughs> there you go. I've got him. I'm not sure why the music's changed. Have you noticed the music's changed? 
Maybe because he knows I'm taking too long to do this. There's no time limit on this. Leave me alone. Unless they're making a new queen. No, they're not making a new queen. That would be ridiculous. Music has changed though. Very strange. Don't know why. No, I can't. He's bashing up against that building. Can't quite get it in. I've got ten bombs left as well. Oh, the music's all gone very strange. around like the bugs can do like anywhere they like because I you know you'd think I'd be able to with all these legs and stuff but no I held my breath as that one. So I think it's only this one now. Let's try this one and shoot it from here. Stardust doing like bug like related jokes. My my opponents won't be hive. That's the that's the joke. Very good. Well done. Well done. Thank you. <sighs> okay. So yeah, Switchblade. I haven't played the game in quite some time. I do have a copy. Uh, and uh, I thought I'd killed them all. There's two. Oh, it's just. I'm really. <laughs> just really. Just. <laughs> oh, he's flying as well. It's easier to kill if they're flying. No. I am running on bombs, it's got to be said. <sighs> Please? Oh, go on. It's just, this can't be very exciting to watch. I'm so sorry. It can't be much quite maddening to watch. If you saw the controls on this thing, it's just, it comes out the top of the head of the robot. And I'm just, it's at its mercy, really. It's like the worst, it's the worst, it's the most inefficient weapon that Cosmopoly could have possibly come up with. Uh, but there it is. Uh, I'm going to go and get some more bombs. I need some more bombs. No, that's not what I wanted. More bombs, please. More bombs! There you go. Uh, uh, there you go. 
go and find the more bombs. Do, 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 do. Oh, right, they're gonna land. Oh, there it is! There it lands! There we go. 32 bombs! That'll do nicely. Okay, let's go and try and kill more of these stupid bloody bugs. Can't just... Top down. Yeah, I can imagine it's much easier to play if it's top down, because they have to deal with this bouncing bomb nonsense. It's... Oh, there he is. I didn't see him. I can't shoot him from there. It's maddening. It's absolutely maddening. Die, will you? Just die! No! <laughs> Come on! So yeah, this is a visual tour de force for the am for the am oh bloody hell. For the spectrum, I think. You've got to be kidding me! I I'm going to kill him eventually. He's just wandering around aimlessly. Doesn't know what to do. Got him! Right. So you see the flickering colours of the the uh, the arrows. They are. They they change. I don't know how far away things are. So I've blown up most of the city though. Or this district I should say. There he is. Oh he's flying. I do like the atmospheric music, it's very good. Can't be denied, it's very, very good. Um, is there any score to this game? Um, in all honesty, no. I don't think there is a score per se. I have to get right underneath him, you see. It's the only way it works. So there's no real score. Uh, you do have to get more money. So it's, it's how much money you have left after you've eradicated all the bugs, I suppose that's the score. It's, very str it's just a strange game. There's some interesting design aspects to it. Um, but it's, it's very peculiar. People do rate it! Um, come on, come on. Ah! It's difficult to know whether you're underneath him or not, you see. That's the problem. And I can't walk along there very easily.
I'm right underneath them. I can't fire the blasted bomb. No, he's not. I'm not underneath him. No, and come on, come on, come on, come on! Stop running around on there. So I can't walk anywhere. I like that's what they. I mean, I can see why they did that. It's like a bit of a gameplay mechanic thing, but I can't walk anywhere. I like I can't go on there, for example, not in that direction. It's just. Just infuriating. I'm not sure if this is the last one either. I don't know if it's the last one. I think sometimes they just wander off. It's like there's a tree in the way. There, I got him! I got him! Me cheering, by the way, I actually cleared an area. I cleared it. Alright, I'm gonna take a little drink after so let's so let you drink. So Costado is um, making a great point. You can't walk where you like, I can't. Uh, you can't shoot in the direction you want. I can't shoot in the direction really. I have to shoot in the direction I'm travelling in. Um, you can't judge where the flying bees are. I can't. Um, and uh, Crash gave it a 92%. Think on that for a moment. Let's try... That one. I'm, I'm not overly fond of this game. <laughs> it's very visually, it's amazing. Uh, but um, I am struggling a bit with the uh, the um, controls, the frustration of not being able to see things in perspective quite well. And there he is, Budgie the helicopter again. <laughs> We should continue because you know I've I've got things to do. So I'm gonna get repaired. It does cost me some money to get repairs though. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that. Get the super bomb. No, no, what have you done? What have you done? Move, 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 move. Oh god, they're everywhere. There's a lot of them. I blew up something. Gotta get the bomb. Kill the queen. Oh, it's just landing here. 
Come on, bomb, quick. Before you get me. Good. No. Here we go. There she is. And she's dead. Now all the aggressive ones stop. And once again we got the ridiculous bug hunt. Ad infinitum. Because they, 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 they're lost. They don't know what to do. I'm going to have to get another repairs. There is rescue where it takes you out of an area that's hostile and you can just get, but um, yeah. There's one down there, isn't there? I'm liking the yellow. I'm sticking with the yellow, if you don't mind. But yeah. The yellow fits the B theme. Costado is right. It does fit the B theme. Ah, right. I blew up a building. I didn't blow up the B. Wait, I thought we weren't supposed to be, I thought we were supposed to be protecting bees, not blowing them up. Come on, come on. Ah! Oh! And one of the reasons I'm sort of doing this thing with um, playing these old games on these different platforms is to just to reacquaint myself with these these old titles that I remember playing when I was much 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 younger and think oh I can, I've got a better sensibility about video games and I have a better understanding of them and etc 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 and that is true I do have a better understanding of them um, but. Some of them, when you go back to them, you think, yeah, visually, like this one, this is great, but it's just really frustrating more than anything. I suppose what, you, what it's asking of you is to, you know, get better at it, I guess. Just get used to the bombs, get used to their trajectory, get used to the fact these bugs wander around aimlessly. And knowing that, you know, if you're going to hit one, it's, a, it's it's blind luck when it is judgment. <laughs> look at him, look! There he goes. And he's, he won't stay still. None of them are aggressive towards me. None of them. They're all just wandering around aimlessly because they don't know what to do. I feel kind of sad for him, really. I, mean, I like the fact that they've got a bit of AI to them, let's face it. They do have a bit of intelligence, I guess. It's quite, it's quite, in, quite advanced. Um, but yeah, frustrating little game. But it is a budget, it was a budget title. And like I said, I keep on saying that visually this is one of the best games released. And vi and sonically, uh, of course, sound is amazing. The, 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 uh, for the spec, the 128, really showing it's uh, showing it off. Let's have another flying one. So I'm 
kill the flying one. No, I can't. No. Missed completely, as always. I watched a bit of a walkthrough for this game. Uh, someone playing it way, way better than me. Really got the understanding of how to fire these bombs and how it works. Uh, I really tried to, well, I couldn't really see how they were doing that, but um, it's difficult to, to judge. It really is difficult to judge. Oh dear. Music's got a bit squiffy again. I know it does that when uh, it gets a bit confused. Anyway. Good to know my plus, plus three is uh, holding up though. Look at it. Not a problem. No, no crashes. No, no, no. no I missed it. Hoping I was gonna. I missed it. Uh, it's just <laughs> There's obviously a knack to this game. No, I'm not referring to knack, the video game. I'm talking about this particular game. But I don't know what it is. I haven't got it. I clearly haven't got it yet. Uh, more perseverance on my front if I actually could be bothered. <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't clearly clever. I, I hit them more on love than judgment. And I can't line them up properly just as I'm trying, just as I, just as I line up to take them out. They go, they walk off somewhere else. He's flying over the grey bit. <sighs> I think collision detection's a bit ropey as well, but yeah. So the walkthrough video, you can look it up on YouTube as well, um, does it in three hours, finishes the game in three hours, it's, yeah, I want to see like really well timed, you know, bombs and stuff and someone who knows really what they're doing, <laughs> then uh, yeah, go for that. <laughs> but this, this is just me wittering on and uh, get increasingly frustrated as I do so. Look, let him go, look! Well, it's wandering aimlessly along and I try and throw a bomb at him and miss. Again. <sighs> um, so, Costano's asking him if my plus three has the audio fix. Sadly, it does not. I haven't actually got round to doing that yet. Um, so, plus threes have a bit of an audio problem, apparently. Yes! Killed a flying one. On that note, um, we'll, we'll call it there. Thank you, thank you very much for joining me. Next week will be, not next week, week after next, so two weeks' time. We'll be back uh, with the 41st episode of Spong Vault, where we delve deep into Spong's vaults to find out games from platforms and that sort of thing. So this is the 40th game on the 40th platform. I maintain that the Sinclair 128K is a different platform to the Spectrum 148K. You may argue against that. That's fine. It's your prerogative. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm sticking to it. So there, no. Um, but thanks very much for joining me. So I have had an interesting time with this game. Initially, I thought it was pretty cool. 
Uh, but then as I start to play it, I start to realise there's some frustrations with it. Uh, and uh, I'm sure it's a case of, um, how can I put it, getting better, or get good, as it's a common sort of phrase, but uh, I'm not sure if I really want to. <laughs> um, I can see where the score is, like your dosh, you just have to get the most money at the end of after, after clearing out all the districts, and that's the end of the game. Um, so anyway, but like I said, it's a visual and audio tour de force, but gameplay wise, I think it's somewhat lacking. Um, thanks so much for joining me. Do join me next time for Switchblade on the Amstrad GX 4000. Bye!